this is our lab, where we're going to put our bodies to the test to show you how your body works. <laughs> ah, that really hurt. Just don't try anything you see here at home. Today, we're looking at our skin. The largest organ in our body, skin is one big protective barrier against the universe. It protects us from overheating by making us sweat and protects us from the cold by creating goosebumps that trap a layer of warm air around us. But if you've ever spent too long in the bath, you'll have noticed something else about your skin. Wrinkly fingers. Now, the reason that happens is because your skin is covered in a protective layer of dead cells. When these get wet, they can absorb water and swell. Now, these dead cells are constantly being replaced. New cells are born all the time. They rise from the lower part of your skin to the top until they die. It's those dead cells that you can see on Zahn's wrinkly fingers. But even though you go wrinkly in the bath, you don't keep soaking up water like a sponge, and that's because your skin is full of natural oils which repel the water away. Those oils aren't the only way your skin repels danger, as we're about to show you. This is liquid nitrogen. It's nearly minus 200 degrees Celsius, which makes it one of the coldest things on Earth and a very dangerous substance. My flowers! Ah, yes, sorry, Zand. The liquid nitrogen is so cold that it's frozen the water in the flowers. So let's see what happens when Zahn dips his hand into it. Did you not see what happened to the flowers? But your hands aren't flowers. That's true, actually. I should be able to do this, although I haven't done it before. OK, here goes. Oh! <laughs> it's amazing. <laughs> Was that cold? It stings, and you can feel it's very cold. So how come Zahn's hand didn't crumble like the flowers? I'm warm at the moment, so my body's pumping hot blood to my hand, and that hot blood boils the liquid nitrogen away from my skin and prevents it from injuring me. And you can see that on the back of my hand, the big veins full of hot blood, and they're going to protect me. Ready? <laughs> yeah, it does sting. Feel. It does sting. Yeah. But, you know, I'm OK. So, the hot blood in my skin repels the liquid nitrogen away from my hand, stopping it from freezing. So what we've seen is that your skin isn't just needed to keep your insides in. It's an amazing organ which protects your body from the dangers of extreme heat or cold, making sure your body temperature remains constant and keeping you safe from harm.